Hello, I'm going to demonstrate the conservation of momentum. When the force on a system is equal to zero, the total momentum remains constant. Here I have some balls that can collide with one another, and we're going to see what happens when a ball that has a mass m and a velocity v comes up and collides with these other four balls. One way to conserve momentum is to have the momentum pass right on through from one ball to the other, and watch what happens during the collision. We see that the momentum that was initially in the first ball flows through the system and comes out as momentum in the last ball, showing that the total momentum of the system is conserved when the force in the horizontal direction is equal to zero. Now, if I have a mass of 2m, we can also conserve momentum in a similar way by having a series of collisions take place, but the net result will be that the total momentum will remain constant. Here we see that if we have a mass of 2m and a velocity v, we have a mass of 2m over here with the same velocity uh, after the collision. Now, another way to illustrate that is to have a mass of 3m. So three balls come up, make a collision, and three balls go out, indicating that a mass of 3m and a velocity v will result in a mass of 3m and a velocity v after the collision. Now, here's a little puzzle for you. We have a mass of 4m and only two balls there. How can we conserve momentum? Four balls come up and four balls go out. I'll leave that to you to figure out the puzzle of how that works. But the conservation momentum principle applies. If we have a mass of 5m, maybe you've guessed it, five balls come up and five balls go out. And if we have a mass of 6m, six balls come up and six balls go out. Conservation of momentum.